Hi everyone, in previous video we have discussed about uh, lightning phenomena and uh, wave shape of uh, voltage due to lightning. So, those two topics we have discussed in uh, previous video here in this video. So, we are going to discuss about power voltage due to lightning, clinograph and magnetic link. So, clinograph is very very important for your examination. So, it is one of most expected question for your VTU and internal examinations. Okay. So, first we will uh, discuss about uh, over voltage due to lightning. Why over voltage occurs in power system? So, lightning causes uh, mainly two kinds. So, two reasons of voltage surges, uh, voltage, uh, voltage surges or over voltages. So, one is uh, uh, stoke to a line conductor, other is induced by indirect stoke. So, these two reasons uh, over voltages occurs in power system. So, one is direct stoke to the direct stoke to a line conductor and other is induced by indirect stoke. So, indirect stoke means uh, um, when bound charges are displayed following a lightning discharge to an object near to the line conductor. So, lightning is near to the liver line conductor that is called as a indirect stoke. So, due to that also this over voltage occurs. So, direct stoke and indirect stoke. So, direct stoke means stoke directly to the conductor and indirect stoke means the stoke uh, near to the power conductors, uh, power transmission conductors. So, here, here you can see the um, direct stoke and indirect stoke here. So, we can observe those two things here. So, here transmission lines are connected between two towers, transmission towers, uh, tower 1 and tower 2. So, you can observe here. So, transmission line. So, direct stoke is directly to enter into the line. Indirect stoke means uh, the, uh, stoke uh, near to the near to the transmission lines. Okay. So here we can see uh, first case here direct uh, lightning stoke. So here phase conductors we have is it is connected between these two transmission lines. So here uh, this is a cloud. So due from the clouds we will get the stokes. So here this is this uh, direct uh, stoke is uh, directly to the line. So, that is called uh, direct stoke. So, suppose the stoke is nearby your transmission lines. So, here nearby the transmission line or transmission tower. So, that is called uh, indirect stoke. So, I, I, due, to, due to these uh, stokes, direct and indirect stokes, over voltages will be occurs. Okay. So, here we can see once uh, stoke is middle of the conductor. So, current will be divided into I by 2, I by 2. So, here if you uh, Z naught, Z naught, this is a zero potential impedance, tower 1 and tower 2. So, if it is uh, impedance is not equal to 0, what will happen? The entire conductor will get damaged. So, due to in, in, it's one, once tower conductor is uh, impedance is 0, the, the entire current will flow through the directly to the ground. Otherwise, so, what will happen? So, entire uh, conductor is uh, uh, entire conductor uh, entire conductor is uh, impedance is uh, equal to uh, not equal to 0 then the conductor will get damage. So, to avoid that one we have to make uh, transmission tower having 0 impedance 0 impedance potential. So, that is uh, one major thing and next one we will see here. So, one of important graph uh, is there. So, this is a one, uh, one important one. So, this graph is used to measure surge voltages on transmission lines caused by lightnings. So, it is a one important uh, device, clinodometer. So, we can call it as a clinodometer. Uh, clinodograph is a, uh, you can also call. So, in previous name is uh, the device name is uh, clinodometer. So, after that, uh, so clinodometer we have made. 
uh, it is an instrument that is used for to measure the voltage surges on power transmission lines. So, transmission lines are classified into medium, large, small that is called short transmission lines. So, short transmission lines the distance is less than 80 kilometers, medium transmission line is the distance is between 80 to 200 kilometers, more than 200 kilometers distance you can call it as a long transmission lines. So, voltage surges if you want to measure we have to use this meter, so we have to use this uh, clinodograph. So, it is measured, uh, so it is measured in terms of lieutenant's uh, Berg figures. So, those figures we can see in next slide. So, here uh, line you can see here line electrode film and uh, uh, and homogeneous insulating plate and metal. So, here this is a line power transmi transmission line is connected. So, once stoke is occurs in the occurs uh, direct on the transmission line. So, uh, electrode electrode between uh, between line to ground will be generate. So, so here we have a homogeneous insulating medium plate if you if you keep so we can observe the potential discharge potential discharge between film and metal. So, that voltage we have to calculate that is call it as a surge voltage that is call it as a surge voltage on transmission lines right. So, this potential we have to measure between this film and metal, then only uh, we can measure this surge voltage range, right. So, here we have some of the figures, uh, so some of the figures called um, based on the graph, based on the uh, clinometer, graph. so we have taken this one, right. So, here voltage V, so you can see sinusoidal voltage. So, positive figure and negative figure due to sinusoidal voltage will vary uh, 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 every instant uh, your positive and negative directions. So, here we can see the positive figure. So, positive surge will be like uh, elaborate, negative surge will be complex. So, elaborate and complex directions will be occurs, right. So, here uh, due to positive voltage positive surge will be occurs due to negative voltage. So, this is a negative voltage waveform. So, due to the negative voltage negative figure will be occurs right. So, this is about uh, surge voltages and the magnetic link. So, one of important uh, thing magnetic link. So, it is also one of instrument. So, instrument which is used to measure the surge currents. Clidonograph we have here we have used to measure the surge voltages, magnetic link is used to measure the surge current due to lightnings. So, these two are the very important devices in power system. So, clinodograph is used to measure the surge voltages, Clinodo, uh, magnetic link is used to measure the surge currents. So, this is one uh, major differences between these two. Uh, two devices in power system. So, here so surge currents, so we can measure by using magnetic link ok. So, uh, it, con it contains a small bundle of uh, laminations made up of uh, cobalt steel inserted in a cylindrical molded plastic container with the open end sealed. So, here uh, it is consisting contains a small bundle of laminations. So, it is like a uh, transformer uh, core if you see like like that it will be there. So, cobalt steel there uh, silicon steel laminations will be there, but in magnetic link we are using cobalt steel laminations. So, so a layer of uh, laminations we will have. So, uh, in magnetic link uh, we are here we are using cobalt uh, steel in transformer especially we will use silicon steel ok. Right. So, the principle of operation of the magnetic link is the magnetic link is based on the assumption that the surge current is 
unidirectional in polarity and that uh, such currents of such current of uh, any duration no matter how short live so such current occurs so those currents will be in a unidirectional only one directional so no matter how short leave this uh, same residual magnetism as the direction of as the direction of current as the direction of current so in magnetic links are generally placed in so brackets fastened to the conductor so that their axial coincide coincide with the normal direction of the magnetic lines of force right so uh, this is like uh, laminations uh, having um, so it is used to measure the such currents okay so magnetic links are generally placed in blankets fast handed to the conductor so that uh, the air acts x coincidence so with the normal direction of the magnetic links of force so this is about uh, magnetic link in next video so we'll uh, see about uh, production of transmission lines against uh, direct lightning strokes and uh, production of stations and substations from direct strokes so these two topics we'll see in next video okay thank you everyone